Ah, the smell of freedom of speech. This is the Tony Michaels Podcast, and this is Tony Michaels. Hey, Tony, fuck them. So, so let me get this straight. You want to own the libs with open borders? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I'm I'm gonna tell you something right now. Dark Brandon is the most brilliant, the most evil genius in politics ever in the history of ever. Think about this. <laughs> Dark Brandon has <laughs> has <laughs> has put the Republicans in a position where they have to own the libs by keeping the borders open. <laughs> Uh, uh, and the best part is they're fighting they are fighting over a bill that is conservatives wet dream for the last three decades this bill is absolute shit i know that people keep saying oh and the media like this is the greatest bill it's bipartisan listen folks This bill is the wet dream that Republicans have wanted for migration in this country for decades. It is one of the most limiting bills of migration that we've ever seen. Even at the Republican conference, this bill is absolute fucking shit. It's garbage. And the Democrats know that they never, ever, ever have to vote on it. They don't have to vote on it. They don't have to vote on it. Not in the House. They'll never have to vote on it in the House. And Joe Biden, from now until the election, can tout that he backed the most conservative immigration bill. And Democrats get to stand back and pretend that, yeah, great. (laughs) He wasn't going to fucking sign that thing. (laughs) Uh, Dark Brandon is the most evil genius, the best evil genius of all time, all time in politics. We should recognize that here. I I don't normally toot Biden's horn by any means on this show, but this is one of the best political jiu-jitsu moves that has ever been pulled. This is fantastic. They went from, it's all the Democrats' fault that brown people are in this country, and then like, hell no, We're going to own the libs by letting brown people in this country. It's really weird. We're not really sure why, but that's what we're going to (laughs) do. As if Democrats care if we have migrants coming in this country to assimilate, be part of the American experience, the American dream, the American way. (laughs) We want diversity. We want equity. We want a cl- inclusion. We want liberty for all people in this country and all people who want to come here. That's what we want. That's what liberals, well, the new brand of liberal, I do have to say that it's the new brand of liberal that wants that. Liberals out there are starting to understand what liberty actually is and how it works in our government and how that we must activate and engage in our democracy to get liberty to work for all of us. But it's fucking great. It's fucking great that they're going to own the libs <laughs> by having open borders. Honestly, I think Greg Abbott by tomorrow will be taking down the razor wire, opening up the gates. Come on in. Come on in. We're going to own the libs. <laughs> so now Donald Trump and the House Freedom Caucus are the party of open borders. And Joe Biden and the Democrats are the party of border security. And that is what you must pretend. I know there's going to be a lot of things that you're going to pretend to like in the next six, eight months that is going to seem very weird and very backwards. It's okay. It's all right. We will we'll make it work. I promise you that. Oh, fuck. Maggots pretend all the time. Conservatives have always pretended. Republicans have always pretended. I mean, Jesus Christ, they're pretending that the border is the is the most existential crisis. It's going to destroy our country for people to come here and want to work. For people to bring their children here and want to be part of the American experience. That's going to destroy our... What the fuck? How, how don't you know history at all? 
the fuck out of here with this nonsense. That people coming to our country is a bad thing. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. That's not a problem. It's ridiculous to say that that's a problem. What we do when they get here, that's the problems that we have. We have those problems. And I've seen a lot of this bitching in conservatives on Twitter. They're like, oh, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Suburban moms are going to be really mad when they find out they're giving thousand dollar gift cards to migrants coming to this country. Why do you think that is, bonehead? It's probably because they were getting a child tax credit in their bank account under Joe Biden and the Republicans blocked it from happening again. Why do you think they're going to be mad? They're not mad because the migrants getting it. They're mad because they're not getting their child tax credit. They're not getting their child tax credit because Republicans. (laughs) It's always the fault of the party of no. They're truly the party of no. No, don't give me what I want. Joe Brandon may be able to take credit. Good. Fuck them. Fuck them, fuck them, fuck them. We must band together in this effort. Even if it takes, again, a little bit of pretending that we have cognitive dissidence. I know you're like, God, do we want to be like them? Well, do you want to win? Do you want to win big? Because if you want to win and you want to win big, get with it. Get with the program here. Oh, people pretend all the time. Like this immunity thing. This morning, you seen this set, of course, oh man, who could have predicted that the that the appeals court, the appellate court was going to strike down that Trump has full immunity because he was president of the United States? That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard of in my life. That that decision was going to be anything but a 3-0 decision. One of them being a fucking Republican. But I flipped it over to MSNBC to see what dumb fuck Inc. was saying. Holy fucking shit. Neil Cottayel, and I know people don't like when I attack liberal attorneys, but I don't give a fuck. I attacked Glenn yesterday. I'll attack Neil today. It's the dumbest, stupid shit ever. Giving, telling people lies. He's lying on air on MSNBC as an expert that, yes, the Supreme Court totally could take this up in a week or two. They're not going to. They're not going to fast walk this immunity thing. And the reason why is because it's pretty fucking simple. He doesn't have it. You fucking dum-dums. And there's no reason to fucking rush to a trial. There, Listen to me. Listen to me. There is no actual reason to rush to a trial. The courts, there's no fucking deadline. There's, he's already charged by a grand jury. The statute of limitations aren't going to run out or anything. Judge. The judge is going to be there. The courts will be there. Trump is going to be there. Hopefully he doesn't die before he's criminally in, in a criminal trial. Or maybe. I don't know. Whatever you want. But there are no reasons to rush. And the, I mean, I know you feel like you're like, yeah, but Tony, the election, and oh my God, he's gonna, uh, and, 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 and. that's not a legal reason. That's not a legal reason. That's not a reason that the court is going to take in consideration because it's not part of what they do. It's not. Judge Chuck can said in the very beginning, in the very beginning, she said, I'm gonna treat this guy. Just like, I'm going to treat Mr. Citizen Trump just like any other citizen. Any other citizen. That's how I'm going to treat him. And that's how she's going to do it. She's not going to do it any other way. And if you go look at Chutkin's history, there's nothing. Nothing in Chutkin's history. And I'm actually happy about this. There's nothing in Chutkin's history that suggests that she will go outside the bounds of what is normal. I'm happy about that. I'm happy that Chutkin is actually the judge in that case. We need someone who would adhere to normalcy, 
to any decisions that's made in courtrooms won't be able to be overturned in an appeals court. That's fucking important to me. It should be important to you. You shouldn't be listening to Neil Cattell give you a bunch of fucking load of bullshit to make you feel good and have hope that in two weeks you'll be disappointed again. What sort of bullshit is that? And why are we still acting like these people are fucking experts? It's the dumbest shit I ever seen. And I know, I know people yesterday are mad that I, that I'm knocking on Glenn. I'll knock on Neil today because it's nonsense. It's nonsense. And it hurts the pro-democracy movement. If you want to know the quite, the honest truth. And the reason why is because it gets people out there saying shit that just ain't true. They start spreading misinformation. The court is not going to rush to this immunity decision. They're not. There is no reason to. There's no reason to. And yes, they are going to take this up. The suggestion that they won't they won't take it up and it'll get kicked back to Chutkin automatically with tomorrow is dumb as fuck. It's dumb. It's dumb. Stop. Stop wanting things that aren't going to happen. Stop telling people shit that ain't real. Stop saying the fu- stop concentrating on the f- fucking criminal trials anyways. Just mock him with them. Just mock him. Stop worrying about them. Just use them as mockery. <laughs> That's it. And one of the best <laughs> one of the best pieces of mockery right now other than the dude thinks supply chains, you know, a chain has links in it, you know. And when you have a supply of a product or a service, there's, you know, links in the chain. It's a chain, not a change, not a change. But he thinks it's a supply change and he's never heard of a supply change. And the reason why is because supply changes aren't a thing. (laughs) It's not a it's not a phrase anyone's heard because it's not a phrase. The phrase is supply chain. Whew, yeah, we're definitely going to mock that today. But in the documents case with Judge Cannon, apparently Donald Trump, and I'm just, I, people are saying this, people are saying that Donald Trump hired an attorney who doesn't have a computer on purpose. There I said it, now people are saying it. I believe that Donald Trump, did you hear this? <laughs> so apparently in the documents case, Donald Trump's attorney's like, oh man, I can't look at this discovery There's no way for me to do my job because I can't see it. I'm having technical difficulties. So the FBI and the special counsel is like, okay, we'll help you. We'll help you with your technical difficulties. That way you can see the discovery so you can defend Donald Trump. So we don't have to delay this anymore. (laughs) The attorney's like, I don't have a computer. (laughs) Literally, Donald (laughs) Trump. Bing, bing. I love it. I love it. Trump, Donald Trump hired an attorney <laughs> who doesn't have a computer. This is real. That he He's did there. not own or have access to a laptop or desktop computer. <laughs> he he does have a tablet. Okay, I don't know if it's like a like one of them uh, Amazon Kindles or something, um, but he has he has a tablet apparently. Um, <laughs> Yes, people are saying it's the my do- the dog ate my computer excuse. <laughs> when I heard that, that's what I thought of. I was like, the dog ate my computer. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. Can't look at the discovery. <laughs> like literally, literally Donald Trump. Think about this as a strategy, right? You think that this is out of the realm of possibility? No, it's not. It's not. This is so dumb that this actually sounds like the plan that Trump and his and his attorneys made is they're like, look, what is the best possible to delay with this discovery? Well, what if we found an attorney who wasn't able to look at the discovery? Well, what do you mean by that, sir? (laughs) Well, what I mean is, what if we hired an attorney who didn't own a computer? Like, is there a thing as a as an attorney who doesn't own a computer. So then imagine this, they go to Craigslist. We're looking to hire an attorney without a computer. (laughs) We definitely don't want them to have any computer skills whatsoever. It would be nice if they didn't even actually own a computer. (laughs) (laughs) He hired a fucking attorney 
that doesn't own a goddamn computer. <laughs> now, I mean, a lot of people don't own computers nowadays because with smartphones and tablets, yeah, you can do most shit. You can do most shit with a tablet or a phone these days that you couldn't do, you know, four or five years ago. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. An attorney, someone who's in business, I, I don't know, if, I, if you believe that they don't own a laptop, or a desktop, ooh, baby, baby, <laughs> Jesus, like Windows 95 up in this motherfucker, <laughs> typewriter only, oh man, it's hilarious, it's hilarious, and then I'm going to show you, um, again, I'm going to show you video today of Donald Trump confusing a supply chain with supply change, change. I don't know if this is like change in your pocket. I don't know if this is like hope and change, uh, like Obama. Oh, I just got an idea. All you creative people out there, listen up, get your ears ready. I just had an idea. Tony Michaels just had an idea live on air, and we're going to get creative together. Open up your ears. What if someone, you remember the um, the Obama poster, Hope? And then change. Remember those hope change. What if you had a. <laughs> what if you have a fentanyl fear her uh, poster like that with him like. Ooh, right. And then underneath it says supply and change. <laughs> I'm just saying I'm just trying to create man. I'm just giving you these great ideas and putting them out into the world so that the world can shit them back out at me. That's all I want. That's all I want. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, and people have been taking um the meme workshop that we did the other day seriously. A lot of people are are now meme makers. They're meme makers here at the fucking fam. Um, I'm telling you, we're gonna actively engage in this election. And um, you know, come hell or high water, uh, we're gonna obviously we're gonna win this, right? Uh, but we want we want to pile up as many votes as we possibly can uh, and, and engage people to go to the ballot as much as we possibly can. I want lines around the fucking blocks. That's the videos I want to show you on Election Day. There's fucking people waiting in line for hours. Not because not because there's not enough polling station because there's so many fucking people voting. And I want to pile that stupid son of a bitch and all the MAGA allies underneath just mountains and mountains of mail-in ballots, too. That's right. We're going to use mail-in ballots, Republicans, you fucking maggots, you Cheeto humping fuck nuggets, just to piss you off. Just to piss you off. Really, honestly, if, if your state allows a mail-in ballot, right, if your state allows a mail-in ballot, do it that way. Yeah, fuck them. I mean, yeah, do you want to go to the polls sometimes and mark down and it feels like you actually voted? Sure. I get it. But fuck, let's have some fun with it. If we're going to do it, let's have some fucking fun with it. Let's let's pile them underneath as many fucking mail-in ballots as we possibly can get them. You know what I mean? Oh, fuck, that'll piss them off. Goddamn fucking mail-in. Fuck nuggets. Arr, 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 fucking, you motherfuckers with your mail-in ballots. Get it going. Find out how to vote by mail. Piss them off. I mean, gee, Jesus, they're trying to, again, the narrative should be right now, right now the narrative should be that Republicans are owning the libs with open borders. Think about that. That's literally what they're doing. They are owning the libs so that Joe Biden doesn't get a win. They're owning the libs with open borders. <laughs> so they're the party of open borders now. They're all but saying it, too. I mean, they are. What do you want? What do you want? It's what they want. They want to own the libs with open borders. Say it. Type it out. Go make, go make fucking memes. Go watch the meme workshop on YouTube. Go make fucking memes and pile those things on social media. Speaking of piling things on social media, you really should go join the Discord. Because they're going to be, 
they're going to be sharing all those memes that they're making. Here, let me show you how to get there. You just go to the Tony Michaels.com. You pan on down to membership and join the discord server right here. It's free. It's the home of fuckery is what it is. The absolute home of fuckery. By God, that's what we should be doing every single second of the day that we can. <laughs> oh, boy. I've already... <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. I've already got one. <laughs> oh, boy. yip doo <laughs> I got one. I got a, a, a supply change. Well, maybe. I can make it work here. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Put that back in there. Damn it. <laughs> Send it over to me. But you guys should go join the Discord server. And the reason why you should uh, join the Discord server is so that you uh, can participate in the fuckery. What do I mean by that? You can go, you can make your own memes, right? And then you can share it. You can share the meme. You can share the meme if you want. This is all things that you can you can do to help um, save the planet. <laughs> here is the uh, here's the one we have now. I'm sure this one will end up in the uh, in the Discord before you know it. Here it is. Supply change. <laughs> oh, is this the change you were looking for, sir? Is this the change? Um. And it's called, over on Discord, it's called the Meme Legion. That's where you're going to want to go. If you go to the Discord server, you're going to want to go to the Meme Legion. We have Skip over there, the, uh, the clip master, and we've got Derek as the Meme General. Um, so they're making clips all the time. They're finding clips. They're posting things. We have Shubidoo over there as the Lieutenant Writer. Um, you see some of these AI things that happen and we've got a lot of stuff coming. We got a lot of ideas and really, honestly, if we all got together and put those ideas together, can you imagine the clip master? Well, I mean, he might be that too, but clip Jesus Christ, you people. I talk about a neck gyno one day, one day I bring up Trump's neck vag. <laughs> you guys can't stop. <laughs> uh, supply change at the ports of entry. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, this is the proper mockery that I'm talking about. And let me tell you something. If you're if you want to mock Trump and you like to mock Trump and that's that's your goal in life, which it should be. Your entire goal should be to mock Trump and MAGA because shit kind of rolls downhill, right? Shit rolls downhill, and I know it feels like, oh, but if we just mock him, then we might not win these other races. No, 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 no. We will 100% win these races by mocking him and mocking MAGA. That's the entire point. Like I said, they're going to own the libs with open borders. All right. What? Ooh, you got me. Got me. Oh, man. Who? Boy, that got me. That really, really got me with the supply and the change to own the libs for open borders at the ports of entry <laughs> on the borders of terrorism. <laughs> These are all things they've said, by the way. They're all things they've said. Not me. Not me. I'm just pointing it out. Speaking of pointing out, what, what other stories do we got? There's so much good stuff going on in the world today. In the world today, there's so much stuff going on in the world today. There's the immunity case. Uh, again, there's the there's the owning, owning the libs by having open borders. Um, Tucker Carlson went to uh, Russia to interview Putin. I'm guessing he went to you know, give information. I, I just wonder if maybe um, Tucker Carlson was carrying a flash drive. I don't know. I mean, isn't, aren't these questions we should ask? Was Tucker Carlson carrying a hard drive of documents that possibly a fentanyl fiend had given him to give to Putin? 
Could this be possible? I'm sure that it's possible that Tucker Carlson had a... Would we be ridiculous to believe that Tucker Carlson would pass a hard drive to Vladimir Putin with classified documentation from the United States of America that was stolen by a fentanyl fiend? Of course it's possible. Anything's possible. I'm just asking questions. I'm just asking questions, Tucker. <laughs> fuck, fuck Tucker. Tucker sucks. <laughs> George Carlin said that, by the way. Ah, George Carlin, such a man before his time. You know what I mean? Even, even before he knew Tucker Carlson even existed. Uh, he knew that Tucker Carlson sucked. Hmm. What do you want from me? I'm feeling good today. You should be feeling good today. Today is a good day in our democracy. It truly is. It truly is a good day in our democracy. Don't listen to all the naysayers. Don't listen to all the dumb fucks. Definitely don't turn on the TV and watch Fox News, OAN, Newsmax, MSNBC, or CNN. It's complete shit. And if you open up the tubes of you, beware what you'll watch over here, too. Jesus fucking Christ. You talk about a bunch of fucking liberals spreading around a bunch of misinformation that could hurt our chances to pile these fascist scum underneath mountains of votes. Beware out there. And don't go anywhere. We'll be right back right after this.